calculating number of atoms slash molecules from moles using Avogadro's number. So in this example problem it says 0 0.450 mole, moles of Fe or iron contains how many atoms? So here we have a mole and we are going to convert it to atoms. So what we have to do is use Avogadro's number. So we know that one mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd mole, 10 to the 23rd atoms or molecules. But since we're talking about atoms here, Fe atoms, we're just going to put atoms. And this is Avogadro's number. The 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd is Avogadro's number. So what we have to do is do 0 0.450 moles, like this, 0 0.50, it doesn't look like a zero, moles. And then we're going to do this t-chart, or you can write it as 0 0.450 zero moles, and we're going to use this as a conversion factor. Zero moles times, we want one mole at the bottom so that we can be able to cancel out one mole at the bottom so we can be able to cancel out the units, mole, cancel out this mole, mole, cancels out this mole, and we're going to put 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. What we're going to see here is that atoms is the only thing that's left, only unit that's left, so we're going to be able to find the number of atoms. And I'm going to write that here too, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So this is two different ways to write the same thing. So when you do this, you have to make sure if you're multiplying using by hand, you have to just you could write it out in standard notation, or if you're using a calculator to make sure that you can use scientific notation and make sure that you're inputting the numbers correctly. So 0.45 times 6.022 to the 23rd power. And that's going to give me 2.7099 times 10 to the 23rd power atoms. So because we started out with three significant digits, we're going to round this to 2.71 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. And that is the answer to this question.